What's up guys, how's it going? It is Thursday. I can't believe we had another Marvel Legends Fan Fest Thursday. Um, it's crazy. Uh, they made some amazing announcements, which I am extremely excited about just because it's near and dear to my heart with the Age of Apocalypse storyline. Cannot believe we are continuing that wave, which was already hinted at by Dan Yoon, but just because he's a big fan of Age of Apocalypse as well. So I'm actually excited. We're just going to go over in this video what was announced, um, kind of recap quickly over the Infinity Saga as well, but, you know, mainly discuss what the newer, much, much newer Marvel Legends that were announced. So first of all, it was the Infinity Saga. They talked about the Infinity Saga. Um, you know what? Time out. I'm not going to talk about the Marvel Legends three and three quarter line because as much as I am a fan that they started doing that and the card backs are amazing as well, well done by John Tyler Christopher, um, I don't collect it. Um, so I'm sorry if uh, I'm not going to go over that, but we will just go over, you know, the six inch Marvel Legends. So back to Infinity Saga. So Infinity Saga, uh, we'll just go over everything that was announced really quickly. So the first one is the Tony Stark Iron Man. I mean... It's very well done for a whole new um, look of it. It's it's still really good. Uh, we have Odin. Luckily, we're make, getting an Odin figure, which is actually really well done. The colors to me are a little bit muted, but remember these, uh, it could change at any point, but I don't know, I'm not too sure, just because there's already in package production shots. So we will see what happens with that one. Uh, we now have... Um, Obadiah Stane and uh, Ironmonger, which is amazing. That Ironmonger figure is huge, probably about like a good nine to ten inches tall, which it doesn't look like that in the package, but my god, it is really tall compared to Obadiah Stane. And it's another suited body figure, so which will be great for photos. So that's going to be really, really nice or civilian pictures. Uh, we got the Walmart exclusive Captain America. I don't know about this one. This does not look good to me just because the colors look more highlighted. Um, the original one that they put out looks better in the colors of the uniform, but that's just my opinion. Who knows? Um, and the head sculpt, once again, it doesn't look better than it was. Maybe it is better than it was the, from the original, but they, it's as if they couldn't get this Chris Evans head right for him to have his beard. So, uh... My opinion, for anyone else that might have a different opinion, by all means, if this is your Captain America, go right ahead. Uh, we have the two-pack of Thanos and Iron Man, which was definitely much needed for that snapping finger. Um, and of course, for uh, Thanos that is uh, about to fade away. So it's a neat, it's a neat touch, but something that uh for umcu collectors i know is going to be much needed especially when they showed off the swapping of the arms and making sure that they're more film accurate so there you go with that uh this is an amazon exclusive for the two-pack of captain marvel and rescue this would have been a nice one if i were still collecting mcu figures because we have the newer endgame captain marvel especially with the whole new um color of the outfit and we have rescue with you know a gwyneth paltrow head sculpt which is nice it looks really really good so that actually looks very well done in my opinion uh then we have the target exclusive of the midas armor iron man and happy how cool is that we're going to be getting a happy figure um, and it's another suited body figure. And of course, it is, they mentioned that, it, of course, it is a much larger figure um, in regards to a suited body. So that's actually really nice. Uh, and then there is Thor. Uh, we all knew this one was coming. This was actually the first announced um, figure for the Infinity Saga. So that actually looks really good. Plus, it's got a ton of accessories in it. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be picking that up for their MCU collection. Uh, then the next one is the Quicksilver figure, which does look good. Um, it was very much needed in regards to Age of Ultron um, characters. But I think uh, for a lot of people, 
Uh, it wasn't really, you know, it, it, there's, it depends. If you're an MCU collector, I'm sure you're definitely going to pick this one up. Uh, but it does look good, all new sculpt, everything like that. So I think it's actually really, really well done. Um, then we have the last one, the 10th figure or the 10th um, box for Infinity Saga, which will be Surtur. This was an immediate pre-order, I kid you not. That Surtur is about 13 inches tall. Unbelievable. I cannot believe they're making a Surtur figure. So that's really, really cool. So that's the end of the Infinity Saga figures. All really awesome, especially if you're an MCU collector, like I was. There. So if you're MCU, by all means, I would highly recommend all of those figures because they're much needed characters that need to go on your shelf. Uh, so next up is, of course, uh, what Dan Yoon was announcing. This is the Age of Apocalypse Wave 2. Now this Wave 2, um, of course, by me filming this, it's already up for pre-order. Um, you can pre-order it. Of course, at Hasbro Pulse if it hasn't sold out already. Um, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Dorkside Toys, pretty much anywhere you can get your hands on ordering figures. So there you go. Uh, wave 2. Now, it's funny because Wave 1 was the Sugar Man Build-A-Figure Wave. Um, considering now Wave 2 has been announced and the assortment of characters that's going to be part of this wave, I'm sure Wave 1 is either going to skyrocket in, in the want and need for collectors that may want, you know, may want to pick them up that didn't pick them up previously because... Now you've got this whole wave set of, you know, Age of Apocalypse figures that's going to go very well with this wave too. So look out for that. It's it's a possibility. I mean, Sugar Man was an incredible Build-A-Figure, but this Build-A-Figure is going to be ridiculous for wave two. So if you haven't seen the stream, here you go. Starting off with Legion. Man, we have a Legion figure. How cool is that? So... Legion is a very, very important character for Age of Apocalypse. He's the one that started it all. Um, so that is going to that's going to be awesome. Legion. I, I know. Um, keep in mind that all of these shots are just rendered shots. They're all computer generated shots that um, so they're not exactly the actual figure and, and what they're going to look like. Um, Dwight actually had some of the figures in his hand during the live stream so it was pretty close to it but you know we, this is what you got to look at in regards to the uh these renderings so we will see how they come across when we actually see um in production shots so legion first one then magneto magneto wow so we got the long-haired magneto crazy um comes with two different head sculpts because he's got the helmeted head sculpt as well really cool some power effects that makes it even better. Um, does not come with the Build-A-Figure piece. So he's going to be the seventh figure in the line. So next we have Rogue. Rogue, they announced Rogue. So I am all for having another Rogue figure. And of course, one from Age of Apocalypse. That is amazing. Um, yeah, it's a funny, weird looking type of costume. But that was the 90s. This is um, Joe Madarius, um whole look of his Age of Apocalypse characters. Madurera. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but there is Rogue. Uh, highly doubt we're not we're going to get any kind of accessories aside from, you know, extra hands, but we will see if there's any kind of changes, especially in the face sculpt, so we're not even sure. Uh, then they showed off Cyclops. Wow! That's a big figure. Um, huge. I, I, it's, it's weird. So I think that torso and arms kind of looks like the crossbones because there's no butterfly joints um so it could be the crossbones torso and arms but i'm not sure about the legs so who, who knows we're not too sure i don't see any accessories for this figure as well but we we will see uh iceman really cool looking iceman there's a part of me because there's a lot of spikes on him um which is very reminiscent to what it should look like in from the comics um i sometimes wish they might have put like an accessory of even bigger spikes like even like a bigger shoulder thing like because when iceman was shown in the comics like he got big they made him big with all these different larger spikes all over him so i think 
I would have liked that, but it still looks good because he's. They even you know copied the, his, his face because in the comics he has no. He's shown without a mouth when he turns into ice form. So, still, really happy with that Iceman. Uh, then Shadow Cat forgot that Shadow Cat looked like that, and he's she's got like those Wolverine claws. So, that's really cool with Shadow Cat. Um, I think that for what it is, they did very well. Now. I, who knows? Uh, there might be another Shadow Cat down the line. There, but this Shadow Cat really, really cool. Uh, and Saber Tooth, big Saber Tooth. So I think they said that that Saber Tooth is using the new Colossus body. So that's awesome that they're able to use that uh, and make this Saber Tooth like a big figure. So that's awesome. That's really, really nice to see the details that they have. Um, especially for the Colossus figure not having all the like ribbed uh, metal armaments um, for his skin. So for the Sabretooth, two separate heads, that's really cool. And then, is that all of them? Yeah. So now the Build-A-Figure, which is Colossus. Look at that, Colossus, that is huge. And he actually, Dwight actually had him in hand and showed him how big he is compared to Shadowcat, of course, of taking the smallest figure. But that Colossus, well done. The colors look amazing. The everything about it, it's just because of how big and massive he is. That's awesome. And of course, following the comic book and how the renditions of how it looked like in the comic books looks incredible because he was massive in the comic books. So that's incredible to see that they were able to put him as the builder figure. So really, really well done. The last couple things was they introduced a new Spider-Man retro line figure, which is the new Spider-Man 2099. Technically not new. I'm sure it's the same like Pizza Spidey body or somewhat of the better body, not Sunfire, but I couldn't be wrong. But they have more hands, a newer paint, a newer, I think, spider symbol so that's going to be one to get as well for everyone who collects the retro wave such as myself and i think that's going to be very well done because it looks incredible uh and then they brought back the tease of a figure that has a tail so they showed the old tigra figure from the like original marvel legends from when hasbro took over and then they showed the concept or rendering of the new tiger figure which looks nice really really nice uh and they showed or they stated that this will be a double jointed knees double jointed elbows all pinless tech so it's a whole new sculpt which will be incredible and i and i can't wait to see what it really looks like and this makes me happy to see a female figure with you know all the better articulation but at the same time, I can see them moving forward with using this body for Feral as well as Wolfsbane. So that is that is going to be really uh, nice to see the fact that that could possibly happen down the line. So there you have that. That's all the reveals that they showed off. But at the same time, Dwight teased Megan. Because who else can that be? Long blonde hair. That's that's incredible. That has to be Megan from from Excalibur, because the whole point was him showing the Excalibur sword with a Lockheed on it, and we knew Lockheed was a part of Excalibur. It's got to be. If I'm wrong, someone tell me that what it could possibly be. So there you have it, guys. There is what was revealed. I hope you guys enjoyed what was revealed. I'm extremely excited. I hope you guys are going to pre-order it because I already did. I already did pre-order mine. So check out my links below to see where you can pre-order it as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. I hope to see you guys soon. Hope to see you on the next one.